Hello everyone, you're welcome to the Open Heavens by the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens Daily Devotion is written by our Daddy in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. And today is the second day of October 2020. And our topic today is Dead to Flesh. So before we continue, I'd like us to say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to hear from you. We ask, oh God, that you open our eyes to behold wondrous things out of your love for Christ's sake. Amen. So our topic is dead to the flesh. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. And it reads, And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. And our text is taken from the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 3 to 8. It reads, Know ye not that so many of us as we are baptized into Jesus Christ, we are baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism in, into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Verse 6, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, and henceforth we should not serve sin. Verse 7, for he that is dead is freed from sin. Verse 8, the last verse. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Praise the Lord. So our topic is dead to the flesh. To be dead to the flesh is to be crucified to the old man. Like every Christ, every child of God has been crucified with Christ. Every child of God has die to flesh to be dead to flesh means to forget about your old life to give up sin to decide to follow god in totality so um our dad is telling us this morning that to be dead to flesh is to be consistent with your faith our daddy said that somebody somebody asked somebody was telling him that i have known you for a long time now and you have remained consistent with your faith he, and he replied the person said that that is because i am dead to flesh a dead man does not change our dad is asking us this morning, are you dead to flesh? To be dead to flesh is to be to give up sin, to be born again, to be a child of God, to decide to follow God in totality, to not respond to the desires and um or um to, to not respond to the desires of sin or of the flesh is to be totally dependent on God's leading and God's direction. So our dad is asking us this morning, are we dead to flesh? And that gave us some characteristics of a man that is dead to flesh he said a man that is dead to flesh is not affected by the changes around him he is not affected by criticism if you slap a dead man he will not react insult him he will not retaliate that is the attitude of anyone that is dead to flesh a man that is dead to flesh is a child of god he does not respond to what people say to him that are negative he does not reply to um, insults because if you slap a dead man, he's not going to respond. So our dad is telling us this morning that we should be dead to flesh. We should be dead to sin. We should allow the old man go and focus on Jesus Christ. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So our daddy went for that to tell us how to become dead to flesh. In the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 33 reads, So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. So to be dead to flesh means to forsake all that you have, forsake your family, forsake everything that does not that will distract you from following God, and follow God like follow Him in totality, like it's all about Him. The Bible says, "Put your trust in God." We should trust in God in totality. To be dead to flesh means to be trust in God hundred percent. That it's all about Him. If it tells us to go left, we'll be, we, no matter how inconvenient it is for us, we go left. If it tells us to go right, no matter how inconvenient it is for us, we go right because we are following his footsteps. Praise the Lord. So, I don't even further to tell us that we must forsake the old life of sin and surrender to the will of God and the ways of God. Hallelujah. So, the first thing, the first thing to do to become dead to flesh is to forsake all that you have. You need to see no value in any material possession. Nothing in this world should be of more value to you than to than God. And our daddy also said that he anyone anyone who followed God, anyone who sorry, anyone 
who would follow him must first deny himself according to the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 23 how do you know if you have forsaken all you know if you are forsaken or if your will if you're willing to give up your possession for God's work such as your car for evangelism your time your money despite how inconvenient it is for you that is how to know that you have you are dead to flesh you, you, you surrender your life to you tell God it is all about you Whatever thing you want me to do, whatever thing you want me to say, that is what I'm going to say. I'm not going to follow the leading of the flesh. Because I am I am I am I am submissive to you. I am a servant, I'm a born servant to you. That is how you know that you're dead to flesh. Because things of this world will not trip you. Material things will not trip you. Of course they are necessary, but you will not place them before God. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek the kingdom of God first and eat righteousness. And every other thing shall be added unto you. So a man that is dead to flesh will seek the kingdom of God. We seek to do the will of the Father alone. Jesus Christ also told us that my zeal is to do, my meat is to do the work of God. So that is how you know that you're dead to flesh. Things around, you don't, you don't place other things before God. So uh, second thing, my daddy also tells us that you won't struggle with the direction of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is telling you, okay, today, my son, my daughter, I want you to fast today. You don't even know the reason why he wants you to fast, but you won't, you just decide to fast because that is what he wants you to do. And several times I've been in that position and several times you see that, oh, at the end of the day, you see the reason why the Holy Spirit wants you to fast. How can you even hear from the Holy Spirit when you are not there to flesh? The Holy Spirit does not talk to a man that is still fulfilling the lust of the flesh. So for us to get leading from the Holy Spirit, for us to do the will of the Holy Spirit, we have to be there to flesh so that we'll be able to hear his voice whenever he speaks to us. Then our daddy went for that to tell us that fasting and praying will fasting and prayer will be your lifestyle. Yes. If you're dead to flesh, you 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 want to fast, you want to pray, you want to study the word of God, you want to know the word of God, you want to know what God is speaking saying to you per time. You want to know the heart of God. You want to go for evangelism, you want to use your social media platform to preach the word of God, you want everybody around you to know about God. So our daddy is telling us this morning that. We should also how one of the ways we can know that we are dead to flesh also is you would also begin to value the things of the spirit far more than the ephemeral things. Ephemeral things also means earthly things, things that last just for a short period of time. And as we do that, may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our prayer point this morning is from today I declare that I am dead to the flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I may like us to say that prayer. Lord God Almighty, we pray this morning that you give us the grace to be dead to flesh. May we look, out, look unto you as our author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, in any way that flesh has been thriving over you in our lives, Lord, we become dead to flesh this morning. And we ask, O oh God, that only the beauty of Jesus Christ will be seen in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day.